Hey, Jesper here from Demand. So what I would like to tell you more about today is how do you build the relation with somebody online? How do you penetrate into a prospect and become a trusted advisor? How do you build a relationship? And it all comes down to emotional intelligence. So let's take it from the top. If you just send a regular LinkedIn connection request to someone today saying LinkedIn suggests that we should connect, you're not bringing any value to that person. It's going to be all about yourself and the likelihood of their accepting you are very low. So what I want to show you today is two ways we can do this using sales hub and demand. So one is what we call a one-to-one. -one. A one-to-one -one is you roll a person in, you have a one-to-one -one prospecting platform where you then can modify every text that is designed to come out to them. The other example is when we use what we call an icebreaker. So there are two ways you can do this. There are two different campaigns, so we'll get to that right now. So if you use the one-to-one, -one, you get everybody lined up, just like here, and then you can modify your text. So the whole essence is, this is your connection request. That's the one that needs to be sharp on. If you use icebreakers or one-to-one, -one, you can set up your connection request to be 100% personalized. So let's talk about that. So if I go in here and make a search and I just picked a random person, particularly what I did is I looked at who posted on LinkedIn the last 30 days. Now, you might have a account target list where the personas don't post in the last 30 days. So we're going to come back to that. So if we take a look at Joel right here. Joel Garcia, he has been posting, for example, making code uh, making more with this on AWS. So if we take a look at the post, setting up AWS environment is not the easiest task, task to accomplish. So our experts here provide insight how you can get the most tools that are out there. So that's actually insightful if you care about that. What if you didn't post? Well, then I could click on the company to see, okay, did they post anything? That would be my clue number two to find something to talk about. So again, they talk about the same article. So I can mention this to them. If they don't have anything of such a kind, I could check out Joel's profile to say, okay, is there something relevant to talk to him about? Is there something he cares about? If there's absolutely nothing, well, then we gotta go over to talking about the company itself. And then we gotta do research on the company very fast. And if you have a target account list and you have maybe 10, five, 10 people per company, then it's quite simple. It's worth your time finding something unique to mention about that company that makes you stand out when they receive the connection request. So that could be anything um, that you might trigger that individual that they might know about. If it's an enterprise, it has to be something major that can impact their business, that can impact them or something that recently did in marketing. Think about it the following way. If you were to receive that message, what would make you click accept? That's the outcome you're looking for to build the relation. So if they happen to have posted something here, right here on LinkedIn, I could have taken Joel right here. So setting up an AWS environment is not easy. Okay. So what I will do is I want to reach out to Joel. So I will simply hit up the sales hub plugin. So I just double click here. So if Joel received this one, right, setting up an AWS environment is not easy. I can agree on that. Thanks for sharing the helpful article. Hope you don't mind. Okay. See, the likelihood he's accepting this one is very large because I'm mentioning something he cares about, something he shared, and I'm asking permission. So right now, I'm taking not selling, I'm building a relation. So Joel, he will most likely accept me here. So what I can do is, I find my icebreaker campaign, I hit icebreaker, and he will automatically start the whole outbound flow, meaning he will go through the LinkedIn connection request, if you find an email, if you send an email, delay, LinkedIn message, delay, email, and so on and so forth. It's very simple. Now, if you did the one-to-one, -one, which is another interface, I have a longer campaign running here, and I will load in the people like this. So for example, if I look at Jeremy, 
I just quickly look at his profile before sending him something. I can see Jeremy, he had a post right here. Build a lasting audience engagement with self-service subscription management and deliver the best user experience. That's when you're promoting his own business. That might not be the most relevant to mention, but in publishing magazine, right? Uh, he liked that. So let's just share that. So I will go in and say, okay, personalized LinkedIn connection. Let's see, the main issue. Inside. Full. Thanks for sharing it. Something like that. And then what I'm doing here again, I'm playing on the emotional intelligence of Jeremy, it's sharing something he cares about, something about him, something about his industry, something about his business. And then I hope you don't mind if we can. If you have absolutely nothing, um, it could be. You know, you want to get in front of them before they get an RFP out. You want to make them aware of your brand. You might want to say, okay, within Jeremy's company here, I targeted. Now, in this case, I only have one person, but if I target multiple people, the names will be right here where you see mutual connections. So I'm going to say, hey, I also reached out to John and Joe regarding um, your upcoming RFP. Again, that becomes very selling. So what I will focus on is um, I'm reaching out, I'm actually building connection here, I'm building a real relationship where you can share insightful information. That could be you have the latest from marketing, some research that that person might care about as an influencer in the deal. So you might reach out and say, hey, do you mind if I connect uh, to share the latest research about, there could be, um, redundancy within um, cables, underground sea cables for, for your connection and, and how important it is to have a stable provider. There could be anything that that could interest them. If you don't have a talking point, then you simply ask for permission to connect, to share some more insights with them that can help them in the business if you don't have a unique talking point. So these are some of the aspects that you can work on really to break through to an account. So we took it from the top. You can either go the LinkedIn profile plug in icebreaker. That's one tactic. Other ones one where you simply can go in and personalize every single message that is designed to come out. And the most important is the connection request. So we're going to come more about this, but this is just a basic introduction. Thank you so much for watching.